Hello and welcome to this Dr Frost Maths video on coordinates in 2D. Now hopefully you're aware of the idea of a number line. So a number line just shows us our position in sort of one direction. So on a number line you can only go left or right. And as you go right you advance up the number line one number at a time. And as you go left we advance a number down. So we've got 0, minus 1, minus 2. So you've seen number lines for a variety of things such as like temperature for example. So we actually call this the x direction. So the x direction is how far you are along in the sort of horizontal direction and as we go in the positive x direction we're going right. Now we can actually extend this to a kind of second direction so here we've again got the x direction which is how far you are along left or right but we've also got this second direction almost like a second number line going up and down and we call this the y direction so this is we call the x axis this particular line here and that's called the y axis. So if I write that down, that's called the x-axis and the vertical direction, this line here is called the y-axis. So the line itself, that's called the x-axis, that's the y-axis. And the way that 2D coordinates work is that a position in space, we specify how far along we are in the x-direction and how far we are along in the y-direction. So if we were to take, for example, the coordinate of A, and the coordinate, by the way, just means the position of a particular point. So can you see, to get to A, well, let's first see how far along we have to go uh, across the x-axis. So we start at what's called the origin. So this here is known as the origin and that's where the kind of two axis, the x and the y axis start and we can see to get to A we have to go three positions across the x axis in the x direction and then we have to go well up or down now so we're going up we can see we have to go one position up in the y direction in the vertical direction so the way we'd write A is that we have a coordinate so we put it in brackets and we have the x movement first, so we're going three positions across. We put a comma, and then we have how far we're going along in the y direction, so one up. So that is one. And there we go, that's the coordinate of A. Three across, one up, so it's three, one. What about B? Let's look at B. So B is over here, so we start with the origin always. And we can see we go across the x direction by how many positions? One, two, three, four, five. So it's going to be five to start with, comma, make sure you've got the brackets. And then we can see we have to go two in the y direction, so two up, one, two. So we've got five, two. What about C? Uh, well, C is up here, so we go one across, so one, and then we go one, two, three, four in the y direction, so it's one, four. Then we've got D. So let's see, first in the X direction, one, two, three, four. So we've got four. And can you see that we don't have to move in the Y direction? We're already here, so we're moving zero positions up. We're staying where we are in the Y direction. So that's gonna be four, zero. And then E. Now to get to E, we don't have to move at all horizontally, so we don't move across the x-axis. That means we move zero positions in the x-direction, but we do have to move up. So one, two, three, four, five, six, so it's zero, six. And then finally, F. Well, we don't have to move in the x or the y direction. We're, we're staying at the origin, so that's just going to be zero, zero. Now, where it gets slightly harder, is when we have to think about um, negative coordinates as well. So before I only had positive values on the x and the y axis, but now we've got positive values, but we've also got the negative part of this number line. Just like before, when we had a, a sort of one dimensional number line where you can only go right or left, you could see that you've got positive values, but you could also go below zero, just like you could with temperatures, for example. Like you could have, it could be minus two Celsius outside. But exactly the same principle applies. We don't sort of make up stuff in math just because we want to extend to negative numbers. So let's look at these points here. We'll start with A. Now to get to A it's just like before. We, can, we start at the origin which is here. We move on 1, 2, 3, 4. So I put 4 and then we move 1 up. So it's 1. But this is where it gets a bit harder. So 
how far do we have to move from the origin in the x direction first to get to b? Well, we have to move in the negative direction. So minus 1, minus 2, minus 3, minus 4. We can see we're at the right place now. So minus 4. And then we still have to move 2 up. So it's 1, 2. So it's going to be minus 4, 2. Because we still moved in the positive y direction. We can see positive going up, negative going down. What about C? So on the x-axis, we have to move again negatively, so minus 1, minus 2, minus 3. But we don't have to move in the y direction, so it's just 0. Yeah? So if you don't move in a particular direction, it's just 0. What about D? Well, we have to move in the x-direction two places to the left, so minus 1, minus 2. And then we have to move down, so minus 1, minus 2, minus 3, minus 4. So we're in the negative y direction this time. What about E? E's here. Well, we don't have to move in the x direction at all. We're already in the correct position horizontally, just above it. So that's going to be 0. But we have to move down. So minus 1, minus 2, minus 3, minus 4, minus 5, and then we're there. What about F? So now we're in the positive x direction. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. But we have to move in the negative y direction. We're moving down. So minus 1, minus 2. So it's going to be minus 2.